everyone, me again. Welcome back to X Amelia X. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get a perfect streak free fake tan every single time with just a few simple steps that you can do at home to give you a salon quality tan with the fraction of a price. Now there's a couple of fake tans that you can use, there's loads on the market but there's tanning lotions, mists, gradual tanners and mousses. My absolute favourite is the Samaritz self tanning mousse in medium, this is the one I use every single time, it's about £5 a bottle and it works wonders. So the first rule of fake tanning is do not shave. Leave at least 24 hours before you fake tan after you've shaved because otherwise your fake tan is going to settle in all those little dots where the hair used to be and trust me, that's not a good look. So the first thing you want to do in the shower is use a body scrub. Now I absolutely love the Neome body scrubs, they're my favourite to use. They're really really coarse and they leave behind some beautiful aromatherapy oils after them. They just leave your skin feeling amazing. Rub it on everywhere, concentrating on places like your elbows and your knees, anywhere where you've got particularly dry patches and this will stop you from getting orange patches or any streaks where the fake tan will cling to any dry bits of skin. It just helps to get rid of any of the dead skin cells and give you a smooth base for your fake tan. Next is a moisturiser. I like to use the Nivea In Shower Body Moisturiser because it's super super quick. Just put this on in the shower and again it helps prep your skin before you put your fake tan on. Really important is a very good mitt. Now I have this mitt, I got it off Amazon, it's called the Ultimate <laughs> and it's absolutely amazing. It's a really good quality mitt, it washes well and it lasts well. I think it's got a year guarantee and it protects your hand on the inside as well from going orange. It also comes with a little face tanner which is fantastic for fake tanning your face, behind the ears, all the little places that you can't reach with a big mitt. So before you tan you want to shake up your fake tan and then distribute a couple of pumps straight onto the mitt before popping that onto your skin. Now you want to move your fake tan around in circular motions, really rub it into the skin and don't be afraid to rub over the same bit a few times to make sure it's blended. The Samaritz tan has actually got a colour indicator on it which means when you put it on the skin it looks orange, it looks brown so you can see where you've been and that's a really good feature to have with a fake tan so make sure you find one that's got that in it. It stops you from going over too many places at once and helps to see any tide marks where you've finished so you can blend it in easily. Now don't forget to wash your hands really really well after you finish fake tanning because orange hands they're a surefire giveaway that you fake tanned. Use warm water and lots of soap, make sure you rub the palms of your hands, make sure you scrub your knuckles and also rub in between your fingers as well because that's where fake tan can settle leaving you those awful orange marks so everybody knows what you've been up to the night before. A really good quality mitt you'll find that your hands don't need as much scrubbing but always do this just to make sure. You also want to make sure that you give your mitt a really good wash as well with warm soapy water because if you keep it in good condition it will last you again and again and you can just keep using it. So when you finish tanning pop on a pair of old dark pyjamas just in case your tan does rub through onto your clothes although with Samaritz I find that that never happens and I like to just tan the back of my hands with a little blob of gradual tanner rubbing them together and avoiding those palms. So once your fake tan is finished developing and depending on which one you're using that's normally around four to six hours you can wash it off in the shower. I put my Samaritz on before I go to bed and wash it off in the shower in the morning and as long as I've followed all of these steps it leaves me with a beautifully streak free golden glow. So there we go guys, that is my tutorial for a streak free tan, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did don't forget to give this video a giant thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and I'll see you next time, bye!